Alright dudes, how's it going and welcome back to how to successfully fail Resident Evil 3 to set free. And I'm not sure how long's left in it, maybe a set, maybe two, I'm not sure. Either way, I'm fucking game. Entirely fucking game. Such fucking fun on these two. God, RE2 make and RE3 make, I'm fucking sold. Well, obviously I was fucking sold, I already owned the games, but you know, like, <laughs> very, very good. Looking forward to tonight. Fucking awesome. Speaking of fucking awesome, thank you very much here at Outlaw and Adam. Outlaw with okay. five bucks here saying, oh, um, RTG, happy Saturday. Hey, you too, fellow. I hope you have a good um, evening here. Just out of curiosity, did you ever think about becoming a game developer yourself back in the day? Maybe working at id Software? That would have been the dream. I spent the vast majority of those years just enjoying the fucking games. By the time I'd have thought I'd had any decent game design ability, um, that's just come from... You know, like when you watch a load of movies over fucking decades and you start to think you could probably write a good movie and stuff. It's kind of like that with games at this point where I've played so many damn games you think you could probably make one. Whether that's true or not, who fucking knows. But, um, yeah, I miss my hair day. Like, for something that I'd actually been competent at, it would have been, like, arena shooters and stuff like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, that day is done. Uh, I guess maybe an MMO nowadays. Based on... First Blood. It might actually be First Blood. It's been so fucking long since MMOs did anything new. Maybe it would be for at least new blood. <laughs> Thank you very much there, Outlaw. I hope you enjoy RE3, dude. Uh, Adam, always great to fucking see Adam. Top man. Really nice message. I meant to say um, other day as well when you were around Adam. I was like, that. you were on Discord the other day and he said, like, you know, like, I think like, you're one of my longest running mates there, Liam. Like, for, like 14, 15 years or something like that. It was really nice of you, man. And um, like I said, good to see you, dude. Thank you very much for the 32 months. Is there with heart because he's a good guy. Cheers, Adam. And um, Saria, shit, I was I was talking about you last hour reset, sir, saying I remember when Saria did the video responses back when you could do them, and Saria showed me how to dodge in re three. <laughs> Ten months of prime from Saria. There's a top man. He was saying just top ton to say I'm glad to see you playing all the remakes. Hey, me and you both, bud. I remember all the craziness from the OG re three. We'll catch the vids for sure. I hope you enjoy, sir. And um. I'd say it as as fucking old school as it gets, man. Like, literally the original RE3 HDSF, so that shows you how long say has been around. Top man, say Thank you very much, dude. Hope you enjoy uh, the RE3 VODs. Even a fraction as much as I've enjoyed doing them. <laughs> like, uh, the, uh, the remakes are getting up to... I hope you enjoyed it, dudes, but not as much as I did. Because you can't. <laughs> it's getting up to that fucking level again. What was doing that last? Was it Bioshock? Ooh! No, 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 I remember now. Yeah, I'm gonna dump the. Uh, I don't. I don't want to kill Brad's card. I, I, I like to remember him. I think I need all this shit, you know. I think I'm gonna rock a couple of flashbangs for a while. And I don't think I'm even gonna take the pistol. I think the knife and the assault rifle will do for now. Knife on one, pistol on three, flashbangs on four. That sounds good. Cheers, lads. Hope you're all having a good Saturday. Is, yeah, I'd say Saturday evening. Like, I, I have to fucking check every time, man. Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty. I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Like every fucking fiber in me wants. Oh my god, there's an F80 here as well. Every fiber in me wants to just fucking. In fact, you know what? Wait, are they angle bullets there? No, they're assault rifle. Okay. Anything else in the room? No. Okay. Well, let me just dump that shit back. Yeah, every fiber in me wants to say like good good morning because it's usually after fucking midnight. I ain't got into but hey, I've got into that bit of like the um the nightly streams and shit. But the um the normalcy of them, I am not used to. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if normalcy will ever get normal for me. Hey, speaking of quality, service, satisfaction. Well, thing life comes from good health. Yeah, I look at the fucking date. I'm like, November 24th. That's like my date. It's like, no, 19th, man. Almost the 20th, but still. You'll be treated in a comfortable environment. Well, this is clear. Oh, it's a Spencer. Yeah, it's clearly a fictional hospital. I see it now. Clean your hands. When you see this. Clean your hands. Well, I don't carry a fucking magnifying glass. Like... I mean, I'm assuming these posters are linked, but not really. Like, uh, otherwise, like, when you see this, what? W when you see bacteria under a fucking magnifying glass? I, 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 I'm not getting the, I'm not getting the message of poster. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Because it looks quite nice under there. That's like friendly bacteria or some shit like that. It could be anything. 
the the poster was not thoroughly checked. Should have been like, was it like focus group, or whatever the fucking call them and shit like that. It should have been fucking run through some people. Oh, I've been there, bud. Been there many a college year. When it eats your fucking money, you really don't have money to replace that fucking like that fifty pence. Like, what was that? Now? Was that Nemesis and Distance shouting stars or some shit? I'm not sure what that was, but yeah, when you, you, you fucking need that 50 pence back. There's, there's no 50 pence for you today. You either get that fucking drink out of it or you get nothing. Welcome to the Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City's healthcare and forefront of science. Wow. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious input wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings, where we conduct clinical trials for the new drugs that will change the face of med medicine across the United States and the world. A healthy family is a happy family. Man, that wasn't there some weird YouTube shit with this, like finger fucking puppets and shit like that. Kind of looks like Peter Griffin if things have gone a bit better, you know. You can't see me yet, have you? We'll be, we're obscuring each other with that plant. You can't see each other. There's clearly no line of sight or fire or anything like that. Got time for this. I am sorry, Carlos. I have enough fucking time as I fucking deem. Like, it, it's fine. Fucking dude shouting at me because I'm taking in the fucking posters. I mean, to be fair, it's actually quite an appropriate fucking response from guy. Like... I'm just trying to fucking read the shit. It's like, I don't, dude, I don't, Why is there a fucking optician's chart in the fucking waiting room? I guess he's on ball now. Fucking okay, hiding that knee. Don't do it. Uh oh. Shit, he launched! Damn it. That was quick. It'll work out, it'll work out, it'll work out. Damn, that guy did not fuck about. Wait, there's something on that something on that table. Nope, 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 no, let me out, let me out, let me out. I guess there's nothing stopping him coming back through that door. Oh, it's Mr. X's hat. I guess he was through here. Or it could have just been another guy wearing a hat. Who knows? Well, I guess I'm coming back through as Jill. That's the second lock that's been like that. Wow! Is that a different zombie or did she like slam out of that door? Because she was quick. What? What was the Why did you give me a sting of music for? Well, fucking music needs to lay off, then. Give me a random sting, like something's about to fucking happen. Something could still happen. Should be fucking careful, like, but, you know. Ooh. What are they called again? Fucking Mr. Uncles or something like that. Hang on, I'm fucking doing shit first. Nurses journal on September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium. They have to put them in straight jackets and move them to the isolation wing. The problem is the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. But what does he expect us to do? Wish them better. We don't have a cure. So this is like the, um... Oh, Charlie's. I got a chat there. Charlie's. Oh, yeah, Blood Reaper is saying, like, Carlos is mad you're not saving Jill. I guess, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I was admiring his inventory. That's the important thing. Carlos's inventory, I, um, I, that, that needs eyes. Jill, yeah, she'll be alright. And that's not all bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? I guess this was the hospital's reaction to the start of the outbreak, where they just don't know what the fuck's happening, really, and you can't... It's like, sir, would you sit down? And he's just like... Before he actually turned, he, w he, he got ripped off by the vending machine. And since then, he will not be told to sit down. He will get his fucking Pepsi Max. He is fucking annoyed, and that's all he's gonna do. You No matter how much you tell him, he calls security. Still back at that fucking vending machine, so clearly it was too much for the hospital to handle. And that's why she had time to write in the journal there.
A player for audio cassette tapes. You'll have to put a tape in for it to work. Not wrong. Get a tape in there, I bet it'll all dial something. Fucking classic, man. Wait, did I miss a, didn't I miss an herb a minute ago? Fucking red herb. Wait, do I want to be looting everything when Kalos has got so much if Jill's coming through here? Might actually leave that red herb on the fucking table then, you know what? I mean, I don't know if that's how it's going to fucking work, but I might fucking try it anyway. I'll just keep the green... I should have left... I, I, I wish I'd actually thought about that for a second before, because I've got like two full heals and I'm working on a third here. Oh, really? Oh, that right. Yeah, there's the red herb, but I'm just not sure if I fucking need it. Might leave it for Jill, that thing. I'm assuming she's coming through because of the locks and shit. Um, that is a lot of zombies in one area. I might... Oh my god! Oh! Well, this ain't gonna go right, is it? What's even in the area now that- oh my god. Some assault rifle ammo, and a door that requires some kind of card- oh, yep. Yeah. Not so great. Wait, has it got- actually with double team, is that it? Wow, I'm Carlos. I'm fucking sorry, bro. There was meant to be a flashbang in that area, and I don't even need to go in that area, but now I know. Now I know. You're gonna be okay. I promise. Um... Store you, store you, store you. Doesn't need to be anywhere near as slow as time. We'll take the assault rifle ammo. Oh yeah, I forgot Jill's there as well. Yeah, do you know, I actually forgot I was saving Jill and I forgot she was there too. Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Fucking will go on ahead when you can finally let me loot. Hang on, what's your about? Ball cutters, okay. Well, Jill is definitely coming through here. I'll take the F-word. But I'm gonna leave the herbs on the table. Oh. I think folk were saying in this call last night, the hospital's actually quite expanded from the original. Because the only thing I remember in the original was a bit where a guy flies out the window, or flies in the window. One or the other. I don't got time for this. You little bitch, yeah. F fumbled that one. It took way too much to get that leg down. Oh my god, wait, where did you come out of the wall? What, what the fuck? There's so many in there now. Shit, let me out. I'm sure there weren't that many in there before. Okay, I'm fall down this way, fuck it. Damn. I tell you something as well, the RE2 submachine gun. That fucking destroyed legs. That was fucking great for it. You think the assault rifle would do a better job, but it's a different game. I guess I'll go this way this time then. My business is... Oh, I wonder if the cassette recorder... Okay, right. Hard, are you in there? Oh, okay. I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Oh, is it Nikolai? I don't mean saying it's Nikolai that jumps through the window in the original. In Left 4 Dead it was classic. It was so like, like the animation was like sped up or something. Like, I think I had to like do like a, a repeat of that shit when it came to the editing. Like just fucking loop that shit again. It was fucking hilarious. What's that? Hey, are you going in an anonymous jerk bag? He's like, keep using the intercom. Oh, all right, give that a look. Open sesame. <laughs> Is that why he's gonna try stuff? Pretty please. This is Nathaniel Bard. Open the door, please. No voice. <laughs> nice try. I just sounded different as well. Come on, let me in, you piece of shit. No voice match found. Hmm. Guess it has to be the voice of someone with clearance. No voice match found. We both know this, Carlos. Hmm. Guess it has to be the voice of someone with clearance. Right, okay then. So down there's a bit of a fucking bust. And wasn't down there blocked off? I must have missed something in the other... No I must have missed something in the rooms before it, because I'm sure that room I was just in was a bit of a bust. Have a quick look, just have a look in there.
Oh, there's a way to the left. Didn't see that before. Da d dude, dude, no, you can't be- that's not Jill's dodge. Aha, here we go. Ah, oh, he says, no. Fucking lame. Oh. You have a- Oh, Teddy fucking- Oh, shit! God, I'd be dead in this fucking world, man. I'd be fucked up. Like, none of, none of the actual shit. Like, you know, that guy wouldn't get me falling on me. Nemesis wouldn't be a big fucking deal. I'd get myself fucking dead from going, Hey, look at the fucking, look at Buddy in sight. Wheelchair, dead. Oh, look at that little cat. I see a cat. I ain't seen a cat in years, man. Look at a cat. Going dead. Like, someone would get me while I'm fucking busy looking at the fucking cat. Like, there'd be some daft. Not the actual fucking stuff. I'd be lucky with that. Or I'd be a mile away from that. No, it'd be fucking... It'd be the innocent shit. I'd get lieutenant. I'd get lieutenanted. Something like that. Be some dude or some animal or something like that. Break my fucking heart at the moment and then snap, I'm fucking zombied. Or some fucking sneaks up with a gun or something. That's how it go, man. Where am I? What's that? What's the map? Give me that. That's what I thought was- Hey, that's the exact map from the beginning. I thought that's what I was going to pick up. That's why I looked at it, but... Uh, fair enough. Oh. That's only, yeah. This sounds awful safe, Rumi. Oh, oh. Well, can give me that. Man, I love it when they put ammo in fucking bookshelves. I'm not taking that herb. Oh, hang on, hang on. Nurses journal September 27th, so a couple of days later, admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of... hyperphagia? What? Oh. A possible infection. Um, tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Yeah, they're not going to send it back out. But that shit's getting in intercepted, isn't it? Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. Sounds like a pretty fucking cool hospital, but you know. Not one I'd like to go to with some ser serious illness. Not, not the time for an endoscope, maybe. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have to contain this chaos. Cannot be contained. You gotta contain fucking chaos, man. That's the entire fucking point. <laughs> yeah. It, like, you're already, you're already within the chaos. It's like... Trying to put the fire out when you're on fire... In a burning house. And... You know, it, it's like, it, it's already a bit too late for that, like... Even if, even if you get your own fire out, the house is still on fire, yeah, even if you contain that chaos, it's still wrapped within chaos. That's, that's what led to that, in a way. <laughs> it gets fucking deep, man. Ooh! You know, for some reason I missed the fucking trunk here and everything. Um... I don't think I need to dump that out right now, like... I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna be running past... Uh, okay, I'll keep it, because I'll probably get the tape and put it right in there straight away. Plenty of ammo, plenty of healing, that's still fine. Fuck it. Update the save. Oh, are you going to the beginning, Carlos? You are. There you go. Wait, I don't think that was right. I think that was... No. Oh, fuck it, fuck it, be fine. As if I'm leaving items there. Oh, when on hospital grounds, no smoking anywhere, anytime. Don't thank me quite yet, because I will not cooperate. I'm actually really glad I had the um, the Condor on hand. I was saying only during Bioshock, like, lost taste for tobacco and shit, and, um... But something classic about RE2 and RE3, man, like, find a no-smoking sign, fucking... Have a quick blast and off you go. Actually, that's not how I remember it. I remember rolling, like, multiple fucking roll-ups while having a ramble. I think I read the YouTube comments out back in the day, like, fucking prototype stream chat. Oh! <laughs> man! I was like, to, I was about to say, what? Fucking Stalker? That's, that's tomorrow. <laughs> that was last night. Hey, Gaming Council, thank you very much for five bucks. Like, don't worry, OTG, in the event of a zombie apocalypse, your long years of service do guarantee your enrollment and survivalist pension. Nice. 
We generously reward you with both ammo, sweet, herbs of all colours, noise, and a complimentary shotgun. Keep the VODs up. I like the gaming council. We've had as differences here and there. To be fair, I brought a lot of it on myself. But they're alright, man. They're alright. You know, that's what I mean. Like, play by the rules, they'll sort you out. They're a good guy. They're a good group. Thank you very much, gaming council. Seems like all I've got to do is get those VODs under control and me and Gaming Council are absolutely fine. <laughs> Thank you very much there, lads. Ooh, where am I going now? The staff room. It's probably full of staff. Maybe one or two staves. Okay, we can empty. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it is not. Man, it went down here. Clearly the final moments of the staff of the hospital were pretty fucking brutal. Like, the police station doesn't look like it's been fucked. Hey, look at the state of this. It got blood up the fucking microwave, blood up the fridge. Fucking sofas are upside down. It's a fucking mess, man. All over the fucking walls. Fucking keyboards unusable. Mice unusable. Like, I don't care how good the laser is on that. No, it'll be a ball mouse. That is fucked. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna track right ever again. You're not gonna play fucking... You're not gonna be playing Quake 2 on that. Got files all fucking messed up. The fans probably all jammed with fucking gibbon shit like that. Like, did you, like this is like this is brutal. Comp like, imagining what happened in here compared to what happened in like most of the rooms in the RPD. The hospital was fucking reamed. I mean, it's the... God, oh, it's pretty grim in that kind of like... like that seems to be, like, what they've been trying to get at here, like... Hospital's been one of the most brutal indoor places, really. Which kind of makes sense, because that's where the first early infected are going to be coming from, isn't it? I like this. This is alright. I'm missing ammo. There it is. Oh, God! Oh, Carlos, what are you doing? God, he's got moves. Fuck me! I swear Dan Carlos just tried to, like, fucking show off to me. Memos from administration. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID cards in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. TY. And the lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last, God, it fucking, like, everybody loses keys in this game, man. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Pacific. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. I might. That's also quite grim right there, man. Oh! I guess I need the key. Which is going to be in that locker there. And I guess he's going to trigger the entire room. He's played a game or two. Alright, okay. Oh, I'll leave that gun ammo there, actually. So do we go to the roof? Or, um, actually, I should actually keep the fucking voice down on that. I fucking rope upstairs, like, hey, what? <laughs> I guess I am. Oh, right, no, no, after you, actually, quite yet. Good on this way. Um, you know what? I'll just go straight forward to this. It's fucking moving around, man. The fucking doors. That is a room. Hey, Blood Reaper, thank you very much, dude. Hope you have a good Saturday. Just again last night, fella. Top man. I'll tell you something, Stalker, man. If I'd not found that fucking early echo detector. Uh, Roy, it's not. No, it's not the echo, it was the crap one. It was the, uh, the other one. I'd, I'd have been fucked. Bro, clear sky. Top man. Hyperphagia is an intense, persistent sensation, sensation of hunger, says Blood Reaper. Accompanied by food preoccupations and extreme drive to consume food with a lack of normal safety. Uh, society. Uh, sci uh, you know, feeling of fullness, like you said. Um, quite fucked to the point they'll bite anything or anyone OTG, I like that. An actual medical reason for why zombies are being zombies doing zombie shit. It's like, why they always just wanting to fucking eat and stuff like that? That's a good explanation for it. Thank you very much there, Blood Reaper. And like I said, cheers again, dude. Oh, oh shit, I don't want to be walking over corpses. Yeah, that's a room, um, I would walk out of in, you know, fucking IRL. I would not... Investigate that. Whatever's in there, it's not worth. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, Carlos, the fucking head's up. Oh! Hey, you're alright, Carlos. No, no, no heads up needed for that. Close quarter battle rifle, assault rifle. That can't be the... <laughs> that can't be the, um, the right. That, 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 uh, that cannot abbreviate it down like that. Close quarters, battle rifle, assault rifle. Oh, maybe it might do. It's just saying what the actual thing is, isn't it? It's a CQBR. It happens to be of the assault rifle combo category. King. Who's that combo king? Goldorak with 101 months. Thank you very much, dude. There's a few people, but it's a small number of folk that are up at 100 uh, odd months, dude. And super appreciated, man. Super appreciated. If you'd, people like, have been doing like that, if you'd done that from the beginning, that would have already been phenomenal. The fact that I'd been gone for fucking quite a while, and folk still kept it going and got it racked up to like, that is unbelievably cool of you, and thank you so much, dude. Hot fucking man. Thank you very much, dude. Fucking, it's, it's fucking nuts. So fucking cool. Thank you very much there, dude. Ooh, it's a random loose key. It's seen a lot of use. The key to the Spence Memorial employee locker room. Very nice. Actually worth accidentally dropping down here, wasn't it? And I guess I want to drop down somewhere else over there. The other piece of tape. Okay. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. God, there's a lot of assault rifle rounds. I think I'm supposed to be slaying things more than I actually am, you know. I think Carl's is meant to be completely fucking shit up. But yeah, I hope you enjoy, um, I hope you enjoyed Resident Evil there, Goldorak, and, um... More come, dude. More come. I'm definitely fucking sold back on Silent Laura at the moment. Fucking loving it. Oh, he's dead, but... Oh! Did he press something, then? No, I think he just touched into it or something. I could've sworn he was starting to operate the fucking vending machine. Yeah, that's what- I must've done that. Where did you put me out? Into the emergency entrance. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So if I basically retrace my steps... I think... If I retrace my steps, that should be alright. Was it the other way? That's where I just came from. Okay, okay, okay. It seems correct. Autosave tells me I'm at least progressing. I take I go down there. No, I cannot go down there. You were dead a minute ago. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. oh no, bud. <laughs> Man, you were the best three bullets. Fucking nice. Was that bullet two that did that or something as well? Like... Minimal waste. It's like the bare minimum of waste for you didn't waste at all. Fucking nice. You know, I'm almost tempted to fucking serve, but uh, I'm not gonna quite yet. It just seems like shit might go down in that staff room. You know what? I might actually explore around first. There was somewhere else to go before I use that key. No. Before I use that key. Something changing. Is something changing here? Because I, I could have sworn like I did something different and I got somewhere different before. I could have sworn I'd gone down there, didn't it? Wait, how did I get to Nurse's Station before then? Oh, yeah, 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 I can go down here, can't you? God. If I knew there were a map and I'd been here a couple of minutes ago. So yeah, Nurse's Station was a fuck that. I, I dropped down there before, didn't I? Around the corner and yeah, I dropped down that, but I didn't go around here. Okay. Fuck, it's locked from the other side. You know, that's the worst thing about the remakes. It's it's really almost unplayable. The um the the lack of mentioning doors were locked from the other side, like Uncool. And even though I'm joking, I'm also serious. Oh, it was just for an herb. What's that over there then? Probably another herb. No, that's a case. I need that. Wait. 
No, that's blocked off of there. And it, it's, oh, it's a different one. Motherfucker, it's a different fucking... So oh, wait. This one, no, that can't have been the same one I dropped down before. I mean, it could be, but it shouldn't be. Wait, where am I now? Okay, oh, for fuck, right. Fucking right. So that one was kind of like a, um, a fuck you a little bit. Like, not much fuck- I, I mean, well, not a complete fuck you. I'll give you a green herb, I'll give it that. It's this one I want to drop that- Mother fucking bastard. How, how would I even get there? So I wanna- wait, I, I wanna- oh, fuck me, where am I looking at? Where am I looking at? So I wanna get past this shit. Oh. And it would require- but that seems blocked on that side. Not this way. But if I go around the other side, that's blocked off as well, in it. Maybe you drop down from a higher level? On the roof side, maybe. Otherwise, that's blocked on both ends, is that? Unless that... No, that doesn't go to the right. Well, fuck it. Clearly shit is going down in the staff room. Or the nurse's station. So I am going to... Well, it's one of, oh, it's one of the two. Anyway, fuck it, I'm going to drop another safe. Save me from going like... The only, I think the only main reason I'm doing that is to stop me from like having to go up and down stairs. And you know, you already know. I'm going to get lost doing it again, even though I've just done it. I'm going to get super fucking lost going backwards and forwards. I don't care about the rating. So... Drop the fucking free serve. Everything I need, Anna. Yeah, pretty much. That's about the uh, the safest save I've done over two remakes here. Oh, Jesus! King. Fucking hell! <laughs> I think I was so focused on about using that key then. That <laughs> made me fucking jump. Hey, caution! Good to see you, dude. Sixty-four months. He's like, what's up, dude? Hey, not much, man. Fucking enjoying some RE. Enjoying survival or in general. Hope you're having a good go of it there, Caution. Good to see you, and thank you very much for the 64 months. What man? Very, very appreciated, and good to see you. Enjoy the, um, the VODs if you're watching old streams, dude. And cheers again, though. 64. This... Oh, okay. Are we alright? Music says that we're just trying to... Okay. Yeah, I'm about to say music says that we're just trying to fuck with you a little bit. Oh, perfect. Oh! John Rolfe, the orthopedic don uh, doctor. That was I about to say doctor? That is like... Some kind of sheep doctor is a fucking doctor. Oh, you signed it on the back. They really went the distance with this. There's so many minor details. They did not have to do all the small print and the extra coding down here. Like, every item and most rooms I see in these, both of these two remakes. I know it, it's only small shit, but hey, it's not your first fucking HSF Rodeo, is it? This is the kind of shit that I point out. You know, the fucking shirts on a hanger on the locker door and shit. You know, it's the small fucking details that add up a lot. That they don't really need to fuck about with and do. They could have left most of these lockers empties, you know, they actually put some fucking towels and shit in there, some fucking, you know, storage bits, some fucking umbrellas and some boots. It's, it's minor shit, but it fucking adds up. It fucking adds up. You know, I've, I've looked at many of these desks, the Star's office in RE2, fucking many other time, fucking other areas and shit. The, um, like, the little kiosks, selling shit, bits and bobs and stuff like that. I do hear that sound so much more. My apologies for previous sets, lads. For some reason, Killing Spree, I, I mean, ego aside, I think I just heard the, like, the UT sound effect so much, it, it like, it phased out, it wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, a sound, you know, like, I'm too busy playing announcers sort of shit, like, back in there, like, I, I just, for some reason the sound wasn't registered anymore, but the, um, what is it now, there's an RE call sound, there's the, obviously there's a Metal Gear fucking codec, and the Stalker PDA, definitely hear those three. This is Miss Mad Scientist. Good evening, dude. Miss Mad Scientist 5 saying, I swear I have no association with, association with this hospital. <laughs> it's funny, dude. The amount of, like, references and shit as being a scientist while playing RE is fucking great, isn't it? Thank you very much, Miss Mad Scientist. Wow. What was that? Is that a fucking hunter? It's a fucking predator hunter. Wow. Holy shit. Fuck me. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. There was a crit in there. Oh, wow, is he ducking under the fucking aim? He, he really looks like someone. Um, it's got that predator face, but it kind of looks like... Is there a Mass Effect guy that has that exact face? Oh, shit! The <laughs> tune! Glad you've been enjoying the horror genre again, OTG. Always been some of your best videos. Hey, dude! An underrated horror HTSF, in my opinion, was One Night, Full Circle. Silent Hill <laughs> style horror in an old school 816th bit style. Always a fun one to revisit. Oh, hey, Breezer, thank you so much for the 25 bucks there. And yeah, I, I, I've been saying, man, like, something has got me really rehyped. For, like, survival horror, I don't know if it's just the remakes, or maybe I was just fiending survival horror. It was one of the earliest things that I magnetized to, to make videos for. And it's been a long time since I was kind of in that field mainly, and, um, yeah, I'm feeling it. Underrated Ori, you say, is uh, one night, full circle. Why does that ring a bell? A Silent Hill-style horror in old 8 and 16-bit style. Always a fun one to revisit. Why does it ring a bell? I'm going to look into that, Breezer. Because I'm, like, you can see my horror section on the Retronomicon. I'm building up a little bit, like... Not every, not every horror game I'll be doing has to come out of the Retronomicon, but, you know, that's the Retronomicon's pool of horror games, at least. There's nothing stopping me firing up Steam, shit, etc. This isn't in the Retronomicon, is it? But I'll have a look at that one, dude. And, um... I HD it. What? One Night Full Cert? Where? Underrated horror- yeah, oh wait, I didn't, I, I didn't even see this. Fucking an underrated horror HDSF in my opinion was the One Night Full Circle thing. I don't remember it. I've already played it, says Jack. I don't remember it. Oh! Breezer is here saying it was an RPG maker horror game. That's starting to ring a bell. I f wait, it's starting to ring a bell now. I think the, um... I think the author of that actually sent us a PM or something at the time. You know, cheers for the video and stuff like that, and I actually enjoyed watching through it. It's all coming back now. It had been during that era, like, of indigestion, and there were um, some cracking fucking indie games around stuff like that. Oh, wow. I, I wouldn't have remembered that unless prompted there. Thank you very much, Breezer. But it wouldn't have been the full thing, would it? Unless the game was short. I tell you, man, I can't remember. Unless the game was really short, it wouldn't have been the full thing. So maybe, maybe I'll have a look at that again. I'll, um, I'll have, I'll have, I'm gonna have, I'm fucking, I'm curious now, like, wait, I did a video on this? It's like, it's like, come back a bit now. But if I didn't do the full thing, maybe I should. Maybe I should. You're a top man, Breezer. Super appreciated. That is really cool, man. Thank you very much. And the timing there was perfect. Running around that fucking, I did play the whole game. Ah. Shame. It, it, but, you know. I'm still gonna have a look at that, I'm curious. I wanna actually fucking remember it now, like, what the fuck? Yeah, like I say, you're a top man, Breezer. Thank you very much. Listen, the timing was perfect there, man. The fucking Undertale jingle while running around the fucking desk. Fucking class. Thank you very much there, dude. Oh, God, he got moves. Oh! Wow, can I stun like that guy in the head? Jesus Christ, did you hear that fucking Undertale jingle going off? Damn. It was fucking severe, like, fucking... Some kind of combination of Undertale and Benny Hill in your fucking Resident Evil 3 round here, man. That hunter got schooled. He got he got completely told what time it is. It's fucking... Not his... T oh, I've already looted him. I'm like, say he was protecting that room. It's like, dude... Stop imagining bits of story that didn't happen. He wasn't protecting the room, he came from this side. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute, where did he come from exactly? I'm, sh I'm sure he knows. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That can't be right, man. Yeah, the, the area- oh wait, no, the area will still be red because I haven't fucking sorted the safe out yet, but let me just fucking run the ring, as it were. Anything on the walls? Yeah, I mean, know there's that and stuff like that. Oh, oh, hang on, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Two days after, September 29th it's now. We tried, I swear to god we did, but there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. 
could have told him this. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who are infected have barricaded ourselves in here, so the hospital's just collapsed now. We can hear the cries for help outside the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst thing imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. That's rough. That's rough as that. Uh, oh, it's a hunter beta. Was um, that guy. I guess I'm the hunter alpha then, because the guy got fucked up. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way and got in. But the uh, sound grew distance, uh, distant and we've all, all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota. I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help. And, um... I guess probably the hunter or something else did. Oh dear. Yep, so that kind of... I guess it is just the uh, the lock there and the stuff like that. Yeah. Oh! Hey Misty, good evening! Thank you very much there Misty with five saying, If you're still in the mood for survival horror safe stuff this game, Oh, I might be. I can highly recommend... In fact, oh, Blood Reaper as well, man. I can highly recommend, in fact, literally can't recommend it enough. Um, for the rest of my d uh, life recommending it, it wouldn't be enough. Eternal Darkness, Santa's Requiem. All I'm gonna say, Misty, is... I'm not gonna say anything. So that, that should be... You know. You know. Um, oh, I forgot I got the ID card as well. And he's fucking using. Thank you very much there, mister. Like I say, all I'll say is if it was, um... If it was much further away, I would've probably said just then. So, um... There's a couple of lines. And if you read between them... I, um... I, I hope that will... I hope that will please you. Thank you very much, mister. Cheers for the tip there. There's a Blood Reaper here as well. Thank you very much, uh, Blood Reaper. Blood Reaper 5 saying these are Hunter Betters. Genetically modified based on Birkin's Hunter Alpha series. Oh, that's quite a good linking, is that? Focus on improving the Hunter's performance. Attack power is reduced in the pro uh, process. No system was improved. Thus decreasing reaction time when being shot at. Ah, that's quite cool. That's quite cool. So, I was saying... The, um... The way that they duck when you shoot them, that's cool. You don't see that in fucking Irene normally. Like, whoa, that guy's fucking shooting at me. I'm going to duck under the fucking cover and stuff. I, I did dig that. Ooh, I forgot there was the entire nurse's station over here to look at. Thank you very much there, Blood Reaper. Cheers for the um, the linkage in there. That's cool, man. Like, A, I like to see Birkin linked in. And B, that completely makes sense now why they've got immaculate reaction times. Oh god, could you imagine? I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to have multiple attempts at that, but could you have imagined something that sketchy to unlock by accident? Would have loved that. Would have been fucking amazing. <laughs> the gods would have been far too good there. Yeah, cheers much there, lads. Thank you very much. A note about tape recording. The cutter, I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B's research assistant took it. One of, our, one of my patients saw Abbott removing something from a locker in the nurse's station and walked towards the treatment room. Why am I making hand gestures while I'm fucking describing this? Like, <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, he took that and he's gone over there to fucking... Do, nobody's seeing that, anyway. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not fucking bueno. I promise you I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and will get his day in court. I don't think he will at this point. I don't think that's happening. I missed you there saying it's um, one of his favourite survival horrors is Eternal Darkness. I had no idea that- I'd, I'd heard the name for the years, but I had no idea that was literally fucking remake sort of like- Not quite remake level of survival horror, but you know, like, fucking up there. Definitely like Co Veronica X sort of deal and shit. Should have been on that in 2010.
Well, now, I guess everybody's gotten fucking incredibly fucking armoured up in the first. He's standing back up again. Other guy's gonna as well. Knife time, boys! Tufa! Oh my god, where did you come from? What the fuck? Where was she? Everybody dead now? Nope. Is that two or three? It's, it's fucking nasty either way. I think it's two. Right, get fucked, room. I was about to congratulate, uh, I was about to thank Brad for his ID card. It's not his card, that. No, it, Swanee or double shit behind me. Not every ID card is Brad's. Yeah, I thought so. That was unfortunate. I was about to get a good shoulder barge going. And um, unfortunately, I mucked it up a little bit. Oh, okay. I guess I'm using that effort. Get the fuck off. Oh, I mistimed it. I'm bringing out my fucking sub weapon like with spacebar again. I can't believe I'm still falling for that. She's tough. All right, you know what? I'm going to go for the fucking reload over here. I hate to be a fucking cheese lord, but I'm actually going to go for the fucking reload. Like, I completely... I mean, that's the first time this set I've had to use the shoulder charge, and it was, like, completely fucked up. Um... That's all right for the moment, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, thankfully, it wasn't that much to slay a few fucking zombies in there. But, wow, I, um... I'll admit there, man, I got fucking my shit pushed in. Wait a minute. We've got to fight the um, the hunter again. Oh shit! I didn't realize. Oh, I thought it was a free load. It wasn't a fucking free load at all. I had to kill the fucking hunter again. To be fair, you only hit me once, but still. Oh, my bad, lads. My bad. <laughs> I um, I misremembered my serve. Have we get anything in there? Nope. File on the desk, just to clear it. I mean, th th I, I, I think I might not knife them either. I think I might elect to um, not use the knife as much going forward. It, its damage is low. Right. May as well be efficient. Oh, leashed. <laughs> as if the hunter's running away from me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I told you, man. It might be the fucking hunter bear, but I'm the fucking hunter alpha over here, man. Should not have given me mouse and keyboard controls in an RE. I'm telling you right fucking now. It's far too comfortable and far too precise. <laughs> but it's also far too great. So I ain't fucking going back now. I don't care what you say. There we go. I mean, the knife's good for a little- oh shit, a little bit of finishing damage here, you know? Like, get some free damage so you don't need as many bullets. It does something like that and keeps them down, it's not bad. Oh, the reload time! Oh, I could've got a barge on. I could've got a barge on during that. Totally the play. Right, he's coming, but it's gonna take him a while. Yeah, we're doing the reload there. If I just shul just shoulder barged him, that'd have been the fucking that'd have been the move. Shit. 
shit. I was on fucking reload at the moment. But yeah, the knife is entirely finished to a like, they can't get me at any point. Let me just get some free damage in. But only on a fucking downstate, I believe. And even then, like, not sure. A beep, beep, beep. It's Blood Reaper. I think you're comparing the RE knife, the free knife to the RE2 knife. But that had the glitch where the frame rate gave it godly f um, yeah. The damage was obscene in RE2. I remember you guys posting like links on Discord and stuff like that where it was tied to like the frame rate or something weird. I don't know if it was higher frame rate, it gave you more damage or lower frame rate, but damn, it was obscene. I saw some guy doing it on Birkin, it's like it just fucking chainsawed him down. It don't work like that here. That's why Infant Knife is great for S plus in RE2. Ari free though, you can have um, infinite ammo guns and still get an S type. Wow. So you could. I mean, normally that would destroy your rating, wouldn't it? Like, fucking obviously infinite ammo, but it seems like in this. They're like, yeah, you can have an infinite ammo fucking thing, but. I think the difficulty gets quite high as well, doesn't it? I'm missing assault rifle run. Okay. Is that all there is in here? Like, do I even need to trigger anything else if I can just go the other way? Go around the other door. Yeah, cheers there, Blood Reaper. The, um... Yeah, the, uh, definitely. Like, the RE2 knives were damaging. And pretty fucking solid, but obviously limited, whereas this one's infinite. So it's, it's fair enough. Like, say, it does its job. You know, it gets you so... It, it does damage. Not a lot, but it does damage. A little bit extra for you. Gives you some ammo. Oh, two of them might be a bit different in there. Two might be a bit of a fucking problem. One I can keep locked down almost. Who might get me? Whoops. What else in here? Nah, it's fucking. I, see, I can operate doors. Oh, there's no ways. Oh my god! Oh god! She got me through the fucking door. What did I just say, man? I can operate doors. You're not supposed to. What the, what the fuck is she sucking hand through now? Right then, okay, be like that. Now look at- no, Hang on. Hang on. Now look at you. Now- Yeah, exactly, now look at you. Wow! We, wow! <laughs> That's what you get. You thought you could play with fucking doors, but you're not. You can't. You're a fucking zombie. Leave that to the professionals. Fucking zombie trying to fucking take my doors away from me, making me use a fucking effort. That's what you fucking get. Now you're just ahead. Another red herb. I'm fucking leaving him, man. Right, wasn't that the room where there were many a uh, liquor? A uh, liquor? God damn, not every enemy is a fucking liquor. I only just got their fucking names right. Well, you know what? I am going to go in there first. Ooh, that um, locker room is useless. Get scared. Thank you. Thank you very much. I might drop a flashbang in here and just fucking go nuts. Can they use doors? I mean, they did before. Holy shit. It's kind of going through the door regardless. Fuck is the fuck is Holy shit. It's fucking door to door action. Fuck. It's the sketchiest fucking fight against the hunter ever, man, like. We're just both pushing the fucking door a bit. I, I the fucking door's getting in on the action now. Oh. Did he just walk through the wall? Like, through all this fucking trolley shit on the right? I swear down, I just... I just saw him walk through fucking that shit to the right. Oh shit, that was getting a bit greedy then. Fucking hell. It's 
saying. God, he's gonna fucking die. No, I'm sure his buddy got in here. I am really fucking surprised. I could have sworn his mate got in as well. And I'm sure I'm sorry past that. Maybe we're on the other side and he walked through there or something. But I could have sworn I saw him go through that fucking wall, man. Don't need fucking hunters being able to walk through walls. Right. I'd love to have gotten a, like a pre like a just starting headshot. Jesus. Right. Okay. First phase door. God. <laughs> Oh, you lucky, lucky doors on your side, not mine. I don't trust that fucking hand coming through a wall either. I'm telling you right now, I'm sure that will hit me. If we, <laughs> it won't fucking. Oh god! Get the fuck out. Okay. Oh, I'm getting really low on ammo. What the fuck? There were some alright shots in there as well. I almost don't know if I've got enough to fucking actually deal with him now. He's pretty red though. Uh-oh. Fly bullets, I'll get the fuck. Oh my! Yeah! Down to the last fucking bullet. Oh, and I get 30 back as well. Beauty. The last fucking bullet. Oh, and a fucking... A cassette I can all dial to. Very nice. In it goes. A player for audio cassette tapes. A tape labeled Dr. B recording for HR is inside. Can't do anything with it, but I do know where you can do something with it. Oh, I wish the lockers were all usable there. Oh, Fimble, that would have actually been, do you know, now you, like, Fimble, are you, you going to do? It's like, remember, you don't have to always kill everything, OTG. I, in hindsight, now, if I was coming through again, say I died or whatever like that, I'd throw a flashbang in there, loot the cassette and the audio, and fucking run out. Uh, lose the, uh, loot the cassette and the ammo, sorry. And then bail the fuck out there so quick. Is this the one that I want to jump down in? Oh my god! Shit. I want to get I want to get into this fucking room, but I'm not sure which corner I want to drop down. And now with a hunter there, that's going to be even fucking... Get you, is that where I drop down? I don't fucking think so. I'm not, I'm not sure which one. Nurse's state. Can I go even... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my god. Wow, I did not mean to do that. Fuck it, I'm going to bail. Oh, shit. Oh, it's okay. It's, it's just a leaf or something. Like, it's alright. So where am I? In the courtyard. In fact, am I almost where I need to be? Almost. In fact, yeah, now think about it. I mean, I'm not sure how much, um... How much more I need to loot out of that area, but I've got the cassette and I've got an ID card. Hey, Mr. Mad Scientist, thank you very much there, dude. Fellow with five bucks saying, if you like Knives and Nari, too, after finishing this game, you'll like the hot dog. <laughs> if you like Knives and Nari, too, after finishing the game, you'll like the hot dog. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Thank you very much, Mr. Mad Scientist. And Blood Reaper with five as well. So I'm not sure what happened, but you were fighting the Door Hunter 1 stream's frame rate tanked, and it wasn't just me. Oh, yeah, there's a few dropped frames. What the fuck? Um, seems fine now. Um, one does not fight hunters through more doors. It's smooth service are guarded by more than just hunters. Hey, just letting us know there, dude. I did not... Yeah, I, I didn't notice the um, the frames have dropped a little bit. I wonder what that's about. Did that a little bit last night as well. The connection's all reset. I'll have to um, I'll have an investigate there. Hey, thank you very much there, guys. Cheers there, Blood Reaper, Mr. Mad Scientist. 
Better don't run through this area as good again. Why did I do that? If I carried, if I carried on running, that wouldn't have got me. It's old school fucking dodge. The, the timing for a dodge had been right. You know what? I might actually take the healing now. The green and the red from reception. In fact, I'm going to run back briefly and get it. I don't think it's too far. Oh, wait, it's through shit. Man, I need that case as well, but... I don't know if I can get that yet. Oh, um... No, I guess I'll have to wait to go back for that. In the meantime... All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan changing waste of a nursing degree. Wow. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. 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 If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. I, yes. I already fucking dislike this guy. But you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. Well, they gave him some genuinely obnoxious fucking dialogue and the VA is like, yeah, I've got this. Oh, what a I know, right? Me and Carlos fucking good guys over here. We fucking can spot a twat and fucking mile off like that. Oh, I do hope this is him. Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Wow, he did get shot. I am assuming that was not suicide, that was a execution. Right between the fucking eyes. A banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we'll be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone. Attending will be Major Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Hyans, so all, all the good guys, and other distinguished members of our community. We would be honoured if you join us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Fuck me. I don't think there's actually been many times. You always see Umbrella like pulling strings, but you never like see like the political angle of it. Obviously, Umbrella could not get away with it. Unless they were fucking hooked up politically, and um, there we go, a bit of it there. Handwritten note. Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August to bring the cash. We've booked a suite out for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Got everything to do with fucking irons and women just don't sit right, you know. <laughs> a working computer? A green herb? Assault rifle ammo. I'm starting to get a little bit worried over it. Oh, can get rid of that now. Starting to think maybe I should take that green herb and mix it into a couple... Do you know what? I think I'm going to take it anyway, just in case. Then again, it gave me a save before that one. I'm going to take it, but... I know, I feel like it, it'd give me a serve. Email from Nathaniel Bard? To this, um, senator guy. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I've in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail, and it's not for my family, not for the ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you got to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Which should sound pretty, um... Pretty chast. After the parties we've been to. I honestly do not know that word. Hurry, my time is running out. Chest? Chast? I, um, I, I, I don't think I've ever used or seen that used in a sentence like that. 
chased. We're pretty chased. That's some kind of bass speak I'm not quite sure about. I guess I'm without bass. I'm baseless. Oh, Mercosis. Um, yeah, Fimbo saying chased. Chased. And uh, Mercosis is saying abstaining from extramarital or all sexual intercourse. <laughs> this is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard. September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. Get your fucking sinking right. I'll get some honor to your name. Coon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... I wonder if that was when it was interrupted and shot. Although that might have been early and the shooting seems recent. And she trusted me anyway. You know how hard it is to get a good CRT nowadays? That's worth a fucking fortune, is that? Is it here? What? Your, your fucking eBay fail by destroying that CRT, it's definitely fucking here. That actually fucking hurt a little bit. Destroying CRTs is like fucking destroying fucking old, like, 8 and 16 bit cartridges. That's just fucking wrong. A sample of the vaccine. Vaccine. Uh, Alright, Joe. <laughs> I didn't get just to read it. A vaccine which can cure a victim of the T virus. There's just enough inside for one person. Hang tight. I don't fucking need to hang tight, man. I have so little ammo. I don't even have a hundred rounds. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Ah ha ha ha! Shit, I should have left that there. Never mind. I'm gonna be honest. No, I actually no, I shouldn't. I need the ammo myself. Hello. Oh, hello. You can catch me. They can fucking catch me like that. Jeez, I need to fucking watch out for that. Maybe like shoulder barge him. That can't be a good animation. Whoa, I thought I'd done some kind of dodge or something like shit. Oh, well, damn, that sent me back a little bit. I think that sent me back to what I thought was the free save originally. Like, cause... All right, Joe. Hang tight. Oh my god, the game is so generous compared to before. What? T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. There's me fucking dropping hard saves and shit like that. Let me the fuck out of here! Right, can I get this right? Oh my god! Fucking hell! <laughs> I didn't even get a chance, he just fucking snuck up behind me. <laughs> I'm just, I was just, oh, I just wanted to test and do a little trial run. We're doing like, like fucking Carl's fucking shoulder barge, you know? It's like, right, I'm going to time this. This zombie's going to come toward me. Yep. And I'm, I'm going to do fucking Carl's shoulder barge. Spot on. I'm headed your way. Be careful. It's going to interrupt him. It's going to look great. Have you seen this town? It'll be a 
I'm gonna look so fucking cool. And the motherfucker just knocks up behind me and fucking pushes me in. He didn't even do a. I got fucking straight high school bullied right there, man. Like, fucking dude, like, that crouched down behind me and I got pushed over. Like, the reverse of that. Oh, dude, it's getting me to get Oh, fuck. Ah! Yeah, do I, I, I'm see, I'm not sure if I dodged away from him, it wouldn't have worked. I had to do, when he did that, I had to dodge into him and break it. I'm sure, like, that's how the dodge, uh, sorry, the, um, the barge works. I thought there's a checkpoint here, man. Jesus fucking Christ. I'd have reloaded and got all the way back here and then died again. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. Not this time, bitch. You can fucking hang out there for like 30 seconds or some shit while I do this. WHAT THE FUCK THERE'S A GUY ON THE GROUND?! Oh he's fast! A zombie is faster than me. A zombie is quicker than- I know he's on danger. But, I am Carlos. I, I should be faster than the fucking zombie. I know he, he was in his stagger like stumble. And they get extra momentum speed from that. It's kind of like, hey, do you know what? I've been looking for something to call it. It's fucking the Naruto run. It's a ninja run. That's what they do. When they lunge at you, they get extra speed and momentum. And they're doing a straight fucking ninja run. That's what I've been looking for since RE2. Like, how do they get speed like that? It's the fucking ninja info. I don't think that really got him. Did it not come out in time? I don't think it came out in time. Let me try that again. I'm just trying to like, trying to interrupt the shoulder barge. I'm sorry, interrupt the attack. I guess it needs, I, I mean, you saw him start to go into it there. I guess it needs to be coming out already as the attack's coming in. I guess there's, maybe there's a bit of a like a wind up to a shoulder barge. It needs to be actually not in the wind-up actually doing it and then if an attack comes in it's kind of like a parry repost sort of deal i got it good i'm headed your way be careful careful <laughs> so i did that pretty i did that pretty quickly there but the thing didn't come out like my timing felt right like i did it as the attack but the the barge didn't come out quite in time So I'm, um, I'm assuming I needed to be kind. Of, I need to be a bit further away. It was too close as well. Kind of give the zombie the advantage at that range. Otherwise, it won't be much of an enemy. You cannot do that against a guy that's on the ground still. I guess that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Kind of fucked up, but you know. Through the fucking area, pick up me red herb. Where the fuck is that red herb? Oh my fucking god, it's there! Oh, you bastard! I fucking needed that. I wonder. I wonder. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Who, who made the right fucking racket there? Like, unleash. Hmm. I might, I think, uh, you know what, I think... Oh, I don't know, I don't know, cause... Ah, I could have probably grabbed that during the invulnerability. But now it's too late, it's gonna cost me a flashbang to get it. It's so deep in there. There's no way. I'm gonna have to fucking leave it. I mean, I was leaving it for Jill anyway. But I guess I really am leaving it for fucking Jill now. What have I got? I didn't even pick up the handgun ammo again. <laughs> Whoops. Well, there's a lot of items. I've got a mix. Oh, I've got a mixed green and red at least. A couple of greens there. Like, eh, it's not great. But could be worse. 
I may require the handgun, I may require a fucking grenade. I, I, I'll keep the flashbangs on me. Uh, that'll do for the moment. Drop a save just in case. Probably should do it after I give Jill the vaccine, but you never know. So down it goes. Here you go, loss. Nice bit of purple vaccine for you. Carlos, man, he's fucking shaking. Ooh. That actually looked quite nice. Not just an injection of purple, a purple gradient injection. Very nice. This shit better work. Considering she's not all fevering about, I guess it's, I mean, obviously the fact that she shouldn't die as well. I guess she's doing alright off of that. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been designated uncontainable. On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. Damn, they actually all announce it now. Of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. That's the look I'd give, like, away. you see this. <laughs> There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. To be fair, what are you going to do? I, I'm not saying the nuke's the right option, but what are you going to do? You could build a big fucking wall, but... Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Oh man, I went from healthy to fucked. You see, you see that? During the cutscenes, and when I was saving Jill and talking to Tyrell, I'm absolutely fucking fine, but as soon as, like, Liam's got control of me, oh dear. I don't feel very well. <laughs> Here you go, Carl. Not that shit. Um, I guess I may as well save over and be able to save, Anna. No point going back now. Oh, belting. It gave me a bit of a refund. Ah, oh, you know what? It might be alright. It's his ammo situation that's a bit fucked. Everything in the room? I believe so. So defend Jill, they say. Defend Jill. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The left entry point is better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking He's setting the up. security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Alright, okay. Bit of a last stand. Tyrell on fucking security, fucking Carlos on gun. And Jill on bed. 